G'day guys, welcome back. Today I'd just like to talk to you about growing peach trees and that how I recommend everyone to give it a go. It's one of the easiest trees to grow really and it's a very productive tree and they start producing fruit very early at a very young age. Even a tree that's been planted from seed within two or three years can be producing fruit. Sometimes within 18 months they can put out a couple of fruit. The peach tree is also something that can be grown from seed. Not many fruit trees grow true to type from seed, but peach is one that will grow true to type, which means if you get a fruit off a peach tree, you can grow the seed and the fruit you're going to get is going to be pretty much identical to that fruit that you just ate, which is great because not many trees you can actually do that when it comes to fruit trees. This tree behind me is a seed that I grew from my old peach tree at my old place. That original tree was a tropical peach. So it's intended for tropical and subtropical areas because a lot of peaches are really grown in colder climates, but we're in a subtropical climate here, but these peaches grow really good. The only thing we really got to worry about here is fruit fly. So I'll tell you about that later on. The original tree that I bought from my old place was a seedling. It was probably about three foot tall when I bought it and they grow so quick you'll probably find that no other tree will grow as quick as a peach tree they are unbelievable you'll find you'll have to cut them back two or three or four times a year they're just amazing how quick they'll grow my old tree within three years it was getting full-size fruit and they were the best fruit best peaches I've ever tasted growing your own peaches is just next level Peaches will grow into a massive tree if you let them, but you really don't want any fruit tree to be really big. So you really got to train them when they're young and just cut them right back so they'll bush out to the exact size tree that you want. Okay, so getting back to the fruit fly, you will not get any peaches in a subtropical climate from fruit fly if you don't net your trees. So what I do is get a mosquito net, which is meant for, to put over a like a king size bed and this net is small enough so got small enough mesh on it that the fruit fly won't get through so you just wait for the fruit to set when they're tiny and then net it straight away and just keep that net on them until they are ripe in order to net your tree though you really need to shape it so the net's going to fit over top of it you can see this tree here it's in a pot so I haven't found a place for it yet, but it's doing amazing. I will upgrade it one day and put it in the ground, but this, but that might not happen for another year or so. So I'm just gonna keep it cut back. So when I do put it in the ground, it's gonna be ready for mass production straight away. But I will get probably 50 peaches off it this season, I wouldn't be surprised just the size of the tree the tree's already eight foot tall nearly which is probably just slightly still a bit too big i've been cutting it back and cutting it back all summer you can see where i've cut it back all these ends are cut off and i've shortened up all these green ones too all these short ones here because these are what is going to hold all the fruit this year in spring or in winter when it starts flowering and in spring it will start getting fruit see they're loaded with little buds and when you cut these branches off short these little branches will thicken up and be strong enough to hold fruit if you let these just get just grow like this one and get really weak they're not going to be able to support any fruit so just cut them in half Cut them all back. All these little ones at the top, they're way too long. They're getting way too weak. See the, how weak they are? Just cut them right back. Cut them really short. Because you only want about one peach on every branch anyway. Because these things will set hundreds of peaches. It's just amazing how, how productive peach trees are. This thing will set probably 200 peaches and you really want to knock that right back on a tree this size to about 
anywhere between 30 and 50, depending on what size fruit you really want. So yeah, I'm going to tidy this up a little bit more. Late summer pruning. So this pruning is done in late summer. It's just gone autumn now. So I'm going to keep this tree right down to a size where my net's going to fit over it. I don't want it any bigger that I can't put a net over it. I'll just drape the net over this and tie it up down around the bottom. So then no fruit fly can get in here. And that's all you really need to do. I do hit these with lime sulfur a few times through winter. And then just, just before the buds start to break open, I'll get them, hit them with lime sulfur again. And that'll just stop the, the buds from getting any type of diseases and not setting fruit properly. So you really wanna make sure you, you do that. I just wanna quickly mention that even though this tree's in a pot, it's actually broken through the bottom of the pot and actually the roots are growing down into the ground. That's the reason why it's actually grown so big. If it was contained in the pot, there's no way it would have grown this big, but the roots are broken through and down into the ground. That's why it's so huge, this tree. Rightio guys, I've chopped this right back now. I've even made it shorter. I took the top off. I just want to make it very easy to net. It's still a small tree. I don't want it to set tons of fruit. I've taken the top off here. There's about another foot taller there. I've chopped everything back solid. So nothing's weak. That's a little weak, slimsy one. Take it off. If they bend too easy and they're really flimsy, just cut them off because all your fruit set are going to be on all these little buds. You can see all these little buds here. It's on last year's growth is what they set all the fruit on. Don't be afraid to chop them right back. Look how many buds are on here. There's already three or four buds left on this little branch here. And you really only want one peach on that anyway. So you're going to have to come back and thin it anyway. All the top here. I made sure everything was nice and solid. No little strangly bits. The little one there. Let's get rid of it. Cut it right back to the main stem. If you want to get totally get rid of a real thin branch, just cut it right back. So yeah, all your fruit that you're going to get is going to be on last year's growth. So anything with a bit of green in it, all these little green bits, small green branches, anything with green in them, you're going to get fruit buds on. Even some of these branches that you'll see that are even a year old, you'll still get fruit on them too. But mainly... You're going to get your fruit on your last year's, your last flush. You can see that the plant shape now is perfect for netting. It's not too big. I'll be able to easily get a mosquito net over that. And I reckon we'll get a few fruit off it. So yeah, you don't really want to fertilise it with any nitrogen anymore. When it starts to get some buds on it, in when the buds start to swell, you could probably put a tiny bit of um, bit of phosphorus and potassium on, but that's about it. Don't worry about your nitrogen. You don't want to make it grow heaps of leaves. You just want it to grow heaps of fruit. And then thin them out to what size and what amount you think that your size of your tree can handle. At the end of summer and through summer, I try to keep my trees to the right shape that I want them to keep to forever, really. The soursop tree here has only been in the ground 18 months. And if I had to let it, it would be another couple of foot taller. I keep chopping the top off. I cut all the branches short. You see, I've cut all the ends of the branches off. Keep cutting it back so it doesn't grow big. I can still take the center of that out too. I could take another two foot off the top of that, easy. Just so I'd just keep your trees small. You just want to branch them out young when they're, when they're young. 
So you've got a lot of branches down low and then just keep taking the top off. My apple, I've done the same thing. You can see these poles here. Is this conduit and they're taped to stakes. And that's what I do. I, and I've got some tape on top just so I haven't got any sharp tops. And this is pretty much ready and all cut back. I've cut it all back, ready to put the net over it in the spring. This is the size I want it. So I'm gonna drape over the net, over top of those conduits, just so I haven't got any sharp bits on top, so I don't put holes through the net easy. And I'm just gonna come down the bottom and tie it around the bottom, just to keep any of the fruit fly out. Because apples are in the, you're in the same boat with apples. Fruit fly will get them and you won't get one fruit off them. Off this tree last year, we got about 50 fruit and we had to thin it out heaps. We had to thin the tree heaps like peaches. This won't set as many as peaches, but these apples, this is an Anna apple, a tropical Anna, self-pollinating. And I net this one too. I've just added in a few photos here of that same tree netted last year. And you can see the size of these fruit that are on it, only for a couple of year old tree. Quite large really. Had about 50 apples on this tree. Such a nice tree. I think this year we'll probably get at least 50, another 50 to 70 apples off it. And they'll get bigger every year up until they're about three or four years old four years five years old the fruit quality will just get better and better until they're up to a size where they'll just, you'll get that size fruit every year then the first few years with peaches and apples you'll get smaller fruit but as the years go on after about the fourth or fifth year you'll get full size fruit definitely recommend growing apples and peaches but make sure you net them because you won't get any fruit otherwise. On apple trees, they're a bit different. They don't grow on last year's growth. You'll have spurs, fruit spurs like these. They're all over it. And they'll fruit for years and years, the same spur. So you don't have to keep cutting back. You don't have to keep letting it grow bigger to get more spurs on it. So you just keep cutting it back. All, cut, keep cutting the tops off. This thing is covered with spurs. There's nothing left flimsy on here. Everything is solid that they can hold large fruit. You don't want anything flimsy on your trees left. You want to take back everything really short so then they can hold fruit. Otherwise your branches will just snap. You won't be able to hold them. And I've done the exact same thing. I've shaped it so I can just drape a mosquito net over it and tie it off at the bottom. Just one very important thing to remember, guys, is this apple tree, Anna apple, is grafted. It's not grown from seed. It's got a graft down here. This is the graft point here. So if you try growing an apple from seed, you may not ever get anything or well, the quality of your fruit's going to be very dismal nine times out of ten or probably a lot worse than that so i would definitely wouldn't recommend growing a apple tree from seed you can do it as an experiment if you want to just leave it in the pot for a long time which i've done i've got some a couple of apple trees in pots but they're never going to make it in the ground if they don't produce anything Really, you don't want to waste your time on growing apples from seed, especially when you want to get something in the ground quick. Make sure you get a grafted one. You know exactly what it's going to do, how it's going to grow, and what it's going to produce. A grafted apple tree will pretty much start bearing fruit in the first year. But you really just want to take those first few fruit off and just let the tree put all its energy into growing. They grow really quick. So just let it grow for a season and you'll find it'll grow six, six foot in a season. This one did.
for it's in a raised bed especially just the roots can grow so quick in a raised bed if the roots are restricted the branching and growth of the tree is going to be restricted the more that the more the roots can grow down through the soil there's just roots all through here with wood chip the more the roots can grow the quicker your tree is going to grow and i don't dig a hole either when i plant my fruit trees in raised beds i don't dig a hole down into my natural ground i just mound the ground up and plant the tree all in the soil that i've put in because if you dig a hole it's going to be a place where water will sit especially if you've got clay soil and a lot of other soils will still pull water in the bottom especially when you're doing avocados in raised beds you don't want to dig dig down into your natural ground because your water's just going to pull there and it's just a place where your roots will sit there and rot and no tree likes that so don't dig into your natural ground just dig a hole deep enough just to plant your tree and just mound it up this was mounded up a lot higher but over time it just settles down and sinks that way it's always going to be up nice and tall and just let your roots naturally find where they want to go they know it's good for them but if you try to plant their roots down into clay soil you might end up with problems when my fruit tree is very young what i do is i'll chop the top off it at a very young age so it branches out from the bottom this is very low on this peach tree but i'd normally come up a bit higher than that that's just the way this one worked out for some reason but yeah with peach and apple trees you really want to train them young to branch out low and come up in about three or four main br branches to the tree this way you're going to have about three or four branches to make up one tree rather than just one central leader especially when you want to net it just gives you a lot more wood to work with and you'll end up with just more branching in the smaller area I do the same with my apples as well so you just got to think ahead with fruit trees to know sort of what rough shape you want and what you're going to be doing with the tree if you're going to net it will a net fit over it and just prune your tree that way so let some main branches come up and then you've which are like scaffold branches and then you're going to have your little branches come off them which are going to support the fruit pretty much the same thing with an apple tree I thought I'd just add in a screenshot of the net that I got off eBay. You can get them for about nine or ten dollars each. Such a bargain. Well, thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe and share, and tell your friends about growing apples and peaches. I definitely recommend it, and I really hope that you can go away and go. Yes, let's go out and grow some of these fruit. These are so easy to grow. The fruit's amazing. Growing your own apples and peaches, nothing like it. Talk to you soon. Bye.